Okay, so the uh, new trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie with the redesigned Sonic the Hedgehog, it, it's been out for a while and, um, well, first of all, thanks to, uh, thank you to the animation team at Paramount for listening to what the fans had, to what the fans had to say and actively working on it. That first design was, uh, the less said the better. And thank you for the much more game-accurate look and even making a new trailer to showcase that new look instead of, I don't know what, what the hell you were smoking with that Gangsta's Paradise one, but whatever. Uh, the movie looks better, but I still think it looks great. Um, so, I've decided to borrow a page from the book of Doug Walker, the Nostalgia Critic, and do what he did for for um, Transformers The Last Night and do an UN-review. Instead of rev reviewing the movie proper after I went and go saw it and then formed my opinion and thoughts about it, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think is going to happen, and then when the movie actually does come out, I'll go see just how right or wrong I was. So, let's begin with my first ever unreview. <clears throat> Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be living in his own world that everybody who's ever played a Sonic game is familiar with. Something's going to happen, or like, where some kind of crazy portal opens up and he ends up in the human world, our world, and he runs into James Marsden's character, and from there it follows the plot of every buddy movie ever. Uh, they, um, they don't really get along at first. They get into all kinds of wacky shenanigans. Meanwhile, Dr. Robotnik, played by the ever-talented Jim Carrey, is hot on their trail trying to capture Sonic and maybe dissect him and study him and find out well, just what his power is all about for his own selfish purposes while pretending to do it for whatever purpose the military wants or for money or something like that. And so in the midst of um, all the shenaniganery and being chased and on the run, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and James Marsden become friends. But then something kind of contrived happens where they have some kind of argument that leads to a big blow up and they go their separate ways, but then they come together again at the end, either one rescuing the other or realizing that they were better off when they were together and they put their differences aside, they hug, kiss, make up, everything's good and friendship saves the day. Yippee skippy. So that's exactly what I think is going to happen in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, like in so many other movies that follow this formula. And I am going to go see this one, not because I want to, not because I want to see it for the sake of seeing it, but because I want to see if I'm right and I totally predicted it, or if I'm wrong, and if I am wrong, to what degree am I wrong? So, I think that'll make for an interesting experiment, so... I will see you for a follow-up video to this sometime after the Sonic the Hedgehog movie comes out. I think it's coming out in April of next year, but I don't remember exactly. And as for the rest of my content, well, you'll just have to wait till next time. See you then.